It's a fact of life, dogs get wet. Between rainy days, swimming, or just rolling in puddles, some dogs seem to spend more time in a soggy state than they do dry. For those of us with dogs who prefer to stay constantly damp, that often means a vast array of towels at our back doors and wet spots all over your house where there shouldn't be wet spots and probably the ever-present smell of wet fur. Well, I'm here to solve your soggy situation and the answer that you may have been looking for is dog boy dryers. But hold on, there are hundreds upon hundreds of them on the market, so which ones are actually worth the money? As a 15-year veteran of professional dog grooming, I have a lot of experience with which blow dryers give you the most bang for your buck. And my number one choice today is not only one of the cheapest options on the list, but one that I am using in my shop, and it happens to be one of my favorite dryers that I own. All of these blow dryers are ones that I have personally used, so these are all my personal thoughts on each of the five that I'm going to recommend today. So hold on tight, you might just get blown away. Okay, when your dog is wet, you have a few choices. The old fashioned towel to an air dry move is less than desirable in terms of how wet your house will be and that particular oh to wet dog smell that happens to linger in the air. Although some short haired dog breeds can get away with it, air drying may cause skin issues. Some of the things that you might see are hot spots and fungus growth. Ew. And if you have a long haired dog, it may cause matting. It can take hours to dry naturally and that drying process causes a tightening effect that any matted areas can experience when they are allowed to get wet and then to dry again in that state, it actually makes it worse. I do have a video on this where I go into more depth and I will link that below and as well above over here if you're interested in that. While it may be tempting to reach for your own hair dryer, human hair dryers are often one, too hot for your pet skin, and two, underpowered when it comes to drying a pooch. Especially a large or double-coated breed. I am looking at you, Malamutes. Of course, I know what you're thinking. You can always put it on the cool setting, which, yeah, absolutely you can. And that does solve problem number one, but you're still left with problem number two. And having no heat with an underpowered blow dryer will take you twice as long to get the job done. So is it worth your time? Ultimately, you probably will end up getting your dog dry in the end, and then you just wasted your time during the whole process. And your house is probably still wetter than Poseidon's pockets. Other than the fact that high velocity dryers will in fact get your dog dry, they have the added benefit of de-shedding. In fact, it's probably one of the fastest, safest, and best de-shedding tools that you could possibly have. Dogs, in particular ones with thick undercoats, can be dried before the bath to reduce the amount of work that you will do in the tub and afterwards. In fact, you could skip the bath altogether and still use this tool. It works just as great. You would just use it as necessary in certain areas for a quick coat blowout, and it's gonna save your vacuum a whole lot of work. But, and I must warn you ahead of time, please, if you're gonna do that, do it outside because your house is gonna look like a dog just exploded in there otherwise. There will be hair literally everywhere. So my first recommendation today is not only a powerhouse, but the shell is actually made of steel. So if you're looking for durability without breaking the bank, this is the dryer for you. The Flying Pig Grooming One High Velocity Dryer is not only durable, but it has a 10 foot hose, which comes in super handy, trust me. It comes with a cone and a spade nozzle attachment. If you don't know what those are, I do have a short on my channel where I tell you the difference between them and what they're used for. But as a quick reference, they are simply different attachments for different coats and they have different purposes. They direct airflow into specific patterns. So yeah, two attachments for your hose. 
Looking at features, it has an on and off switch, an adjustable switch for airflow, and a heat setting with low, high, and off. It comes in a few fun colors, which is always nice. The motor is a 4.0 horsepower at its peak. Airspeed is 28,000 feet per minute and an air volume of 240 cubic feet per minute. The price is 187 US dollars on Amazon and for my Canadian friends, it is currently $369.56 on Amazon as well, the Canadian equivalent. This next dryer has been a staple in terms of brand recognition within the grooming industry for over 30 years and this small unit is a great dryer for home use. Although I have definitely used it in many salons over the years. Just like the last one, it is extremely durable and is made of steel, but for the price you do get slightly less, but it would be great for smaller dogs, short hair dogs, senior dogs, and the warranty through them is top notch since it's made in the US. It is the Metrovac Air Force Commander and it comes with three nozzle attachments, a cone, a flared spade, and a rake attachment. It does have variable airflow, but no heat settings, although it's important to remember that all high velocity dryers create a certain amount of heat just from running, so you'll get a little bit anyways. This one's motor is also a 4.0 horsepower at its peak and the airspeed is up to 28,000 feet per minute as well. But the air volume is slightly less. It's only 100 cubic feet per minute. It is currently on Amazon for $229.99 American dollars. But on the Canadian Amazon website, it is listed for $359.90 and it also comes in some funky colors as well. Now this next one is similar to the last unit in the fact that it is heatless as well. So it has all the same benefits and it is the same type of dogs that it would be great for as we discuss seniors, even puppies, things like that. The difference with this one though is definitely the price and that it comes with four attachments. The B Air Fido Max 1 has a cone nozzle, a spade nozzle, a brush nozzle, and an airflow nozzle. It also has a 10 foot cord but its hose is only three feet, but the cord does make up for that in some regards. Also, it comes in four colors, so that's pretty fun. It definitely is the least expensive dryer on the list, coming in at $59.99 American on Amazon, and its Canadian equivalent on Amazon is $159.50. It does not have a variable airflow switch, but instead it has two airflow settings. Its motor is only a 2.0 horsepower, but it has an airspeed of 28,000 feet per minute and the air volume is 165 cubic feet per minute and that is at its peak. So it's definitely got a little bit of bang for your buck. These last two dryers are both my personal favorites but I'll save the one that I use in my shop regularly for last. So first up is the Schoenbau, I think that's how you say it, high velocity dryer. It comes in three colors with three attachment nozzles, a cone, a spade and a wide spade. It has an eight foot flexible hose and an adjustable airflow speed switch and a heat switch, which also turns the dryer on and off. As for specs, its motor is a 5.0 horsepower. Its peak airspeed is 64,000 feet per minute, which is pretty impressive, and an air volume of 210 cubic feet per minute. So one of the strongest dryers we've looked at. Price wise? It is extremely reasonable, but that might be because it's made of plastic. So if that's important to you, consider that as well. Currently on amazon.com, it's listed for $186 with a $30 off coupon, bringing it down to 156. On amazon.ca, it is 259 with a $30 off coupon as well for a total of $229. Now this last dryer is sitting in my grooming shop right now and I have owned it for three years. It might be pushing four now. So it lasted me this long and currently has no signs of quitting. So quality is clearly there. Although at its current price, I would be pleased if this was all I got out of it because it is not expensive. And I reach for this dryer a lot. Now, is not the most powerful by any means. I do have a stronger dryer that I use when I need some big guns for a big old D shed, but it's a nice little unit. 
and the heat setting works really well. So it helps me straighten out some really curly coats. I bought this dryer just for like an in-home use at first. Something I thought for the price would just be okay, but you know, something to have around as a backup, uh, just in case to do my own dogs. But I have to say it really does get the job done. It is the Shilandi Forest Air Dryer and it comes in blue and pink. I have the blue because I'm fairly certain that it didn't come in pink when I bought it. It comes with four attachments, a cone, a spade, a wide spade, and a comb attachment. The flexible hose is seven feet long and it has a variable speed dial. It also has a separate on and off switch to the heat switch, which is also an on and off style. Super simple, very easy interface to work with. It's only a 3.8 horsepower, but it's 12,800 feet per minute airspeed is quite nice and it has an air volume of 190 cubic feet per minute. So although it is small, it still has a good range of power with extra heat settings. This is a great little dryer really. Works excellent for small dogs, particularly as I said, ones with curly coats or ones with wavy coats that need straightening. Price wise, it clocks in at $79.50 on Amazon, com American Amazon and on the Canadian equivalent amazon.ca it is listed for $115 so super reasonably priced. All of these blow dryers will drastically reduce the amount of time you spend grooming your dog but if you want to learn some of my best kept secrets check out this video here where I give you five dog grooming hacks that are going to save you both time and money. <laughs>